So I go, I walk over, I'm like, hey, no, it's cool, I found her, she's right here. Okay, thank you. That was Cupid. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Jen Danzak, sitting here barefoot with someone who is absolutely incredible. His name is Julian McCullough. You've seen him on Chelsea Lately, MTV, Comedy Central. You have a ridiculous resume. Uh, yeah, I'm on, I'm, I've been on a million shows for like four seconds at a time. So people don't know who I am until they see my picture bleep by their, you know what I mean? Like you got to see my face quick and then it has to be taken away. And then people go, yeah, I, I, I've seen that guy before. Oh my gosh. What is your biggest accomplishment in your career? Which I know is a very long career so far. Since 2007, I haven't starved and I haven't had a job. So that's, uh, I consider that accomplishment. But as long as you're not, you know, scrubbing toilets, I think you're doing okay. So make sure to come to his shows so he doesn't starve. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I went to college, but I don't remember it. So I can't, I have nothing to fall back on. What are your influences like in your style? I realized a little while back, I was listening to Bob Dylan, because I listen to Bob Dylan all the time when I was uh, in my formative years. And he has a sense of humor that, because like I didn't watch any stand ups and go, oh, I'm going to do that guy. Like that doesn't really happen. You know what I mean? So I'm in trying to figure out like where you might have you know gotten your tone or like your your particular brand of sarcasm or seeing bob dylan had a way of joking with people where they didn't know he was he was putting them on my favorite comedians though are were patrice o'neill who passed away um recently i love bill burr brian regan is clean and very funny i love brian regan steve martin steve martin was making fun of stand-up before stand-up was even people people weren't even sick of stand-up yet and he was already like making fun of it as an art form that was really great uh i don't know that's that's always the hardest question to answer is what are your well this one's gonna be an easy one okay how awesome am i <laughs> on a scale of one to barbara streisand on a scale of one to like kate middleton kate mid oh well, you're gonna go i went with talent you went with looks <laughs> oh, God. i well, first of all, Kate Upton is not my type. Not Kate Upton, Kate Middleton. Oh, Middleton! <laughs> Sorry. Kate Middleton. Wait, 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 I don't even know anything about Kate Middleton. She's like, gorgeous. What? How can you she's not know who fine. that is? She's like the prettiest normal looking girl in, right. in the world, you know? Right. She's great, but I don't know anything. I've never even heard her speak. It's more like this. It's a beautiful, and she's like, oh my goodness, and she's well, so cute. just went up a little bit t I towards know. Kate Middleton when he did a British accent. <laughs> Um, on a scale, I would rate you as a, uh, a Jane Weedlin, which is... She, is that bad? I don't know who that is. I know. You, nobody knows who anybody is. Um, she, was the, she was the lead guitarist in the Go-Go's, and she was, she was like the funny one. I'd say you're a 8.2 between one and, and Kate Middleton. What's Kate Middleton? A 10? Dude, she's like a 90 out of, oh. out of then you're a two. Two. Okay. You're a I'll take a B minus. Okay. That's okay. That's not bad, right? <laughs> B minus is good for uh, a national average. You could get into like a, a decent online school with that. I just broke my nail, guys. Oh my god. It's on. It's on the ground now. <laughs> Pick it up. Do I have to? Yeah, man. I gotta live here for the rest of the weekend. Ugh. All right. Well, that's where it's going. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it if as I, big you as your thumb? Eye patch, I'd be like Boy George. Do you know who Boy George is? Oh my God! <laughs> this interview's over. <laughs> Google Devo. They're from where you're from. And Google Julian McCullough so he has a roof over his head. Yes, please. That would be great. And uh, use extra strength super glue on your nails, ladies. <laughs> that is disturbing. It looks like <laughs> leprosy right in front of you. I learned the hard way, guys. <laughs> well, I will see you next time. Thanks, Julian, for hanging out with us. Okay, you were great. Thanks. Bye.